Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. Today, I wanted to have a talk with you about the new assault gun that is coming with the Russian DLC in the name of the Tsar in September, the SMG 0818, or the Maxim if you prefer. If you don't know that this gun is coming in Battlefield 1, you should click at the info card in the top right corner first in order to watch the video when we played with the Maxim for the first time. Now, I had a couple of games, again, with the SMG 0818, and to tell you the truth, I wasn't doing really well. And I asked myself, what is wrong with that gun? And I thought it really for a few days. I was really confused with this new SMG. And now, I want to share my thoughts with you guys. The Assault class in Battlefield 1 is supposed to be the class that goes running on the objective, killing fast in close range the enemy players defending it. And at that thought I had, I understood what's wrong with the Maxim. It is not made for this aggressive style of gameplay. It doesn't kill fast at close to close medium range. It kills much slower than the Hellrigger and the Rebay Rolls. Let's take the Automatico out of my thoughts, cause it's a different story with this gun and it, it's confusing, okay? And now, things start to make sense. I think that first of all, DICE wants to give some range to the Assault class. Okay, the SMG 0818 is able to do kills at medium range, but not that easy. You should tap fire this gun or try to control the vertical recoil it has, though I can't find a standard pattern with it yet. So it's easier when tap firing with a Maxim in order to take a medium range skill. And then I added another thought in my mind. Let's take the facts we have with the new guns coming and with the Russian DLC in the name of the Tsar in September. The Zol class gets the Maxim. Mary class gets the further of Automat and the support class gets the Parabellum. And there you've got it. These three classes are changing with the new DLC. In fact, Battlefield 1 and the whole experience is changing with the new DLC in the name of the Tsar. And let me make this more clear to you, as my thoughts. With the Fedora of Automat for the Medi class and the Parabellum for the support class, the three classes are getting much closer to each other, and then, with that exact thought, I started to understand the thinking behind the Maxim. We already have some OP guns for the assault class, okay? The other classes needed to follow up. After these thoughts I had, I gave it a go, and guess what? I did very good gameplays with the Max SMG 0818 Maxim, and the reason was not my skill that changed. It was the way I was thinking for this gun. At the moment I started to understand how are you supposed to play with Maxim, I did really good with it. And the question now is, is it going to outplay the Automatico or the Hellrigger? Absolutely not. The Maxim is supposed to give another playstyle potential from the one we knew for the Assault class. So that's it, with the Maxim you are going to be able to take out some support and medic enemy players at close to medium and maybe medium range engagements, it depends what the what gun is the, the opponent going to use, and it's going to give another direction and potential for the assault class. Now, I hope I gave you an idea with the Maxim and why it didn't I didn't like it at first, and maybe you you didn't like it if you if you managed to play it at the CTE, the community test environment, and it was really bothering me. And now it doesn't, and I'm more happy with it. So if you liked the video, please give a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down, and I'll catch you in the next video.